Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm, of course, your host, Tedrudels Blitz, and in today's video, we are going to be playing in the Panzer IV Schmaltrum. This is a Tier VI German premium medium tank. It's been in the game for a very, very long time, but it honestly looks great. You can see the TIE Fighter camouflage it's got over it looks great, and as well, it's got some very solid statistics going for it. 2.6 seconds of aiming time, 0.299 dispersion, and 2,200 damage per minute. Not only does this have great DPM for a tier 6, but as well its dispersion and aiming time are definitely the best for a tier 6 medium you'll be finding. Mobility is definitely a setback though, 44 kilometers per hour forward, reverse speed's not bad at 18, but yeah, with only a power to weight ratio of 16.7, not the fastest of medium tanks. Does boast some pretty decent turret armor though at 130 millimeters, and especially judging that it's the Panther turret, you get some pretty steep angles on the edges that will give you very solid bounces. Also carrying in at 10 degrees of gun depression, you can work any ridgeline. The real downside of the tank is the hull armor. Yes, it has spaced on the sides, which is great. Just like an E75TS, it will stop any HE shells and stop a majority of heat shells from cutting through the side of your tank. This is a Panzer IV, as it says in the name. The Panzer IV stems from Tier IV. You can see these similarities in the hull design. So, yeah, its hull armor is like 80 millimeters on the front, 30 on the sides, and only like 20 on the rear. You gotta be very careful when exposing your armor to opponents because you will be penetrated a lot of the times, unless you're using it on a ridgeline, hull down, but that's just what makes the tank a bit more challenging to drive. Overall, it's a very fun tank to play, and you're going to be able to get your hands on it for absolutely free with an event that's coming out in just a few hours. I thought I would make this video before the event drops so that you guys can know how the tank plays, and if you want to spend your time to grind it. It seems like the event's going to last eight days, and it's not really an event, it's more of an order. Just like how you got the T21, it appears, at least to what I'm thinking, because that's what Wargaming said in their video, that that's how you're going to be able to get it. So I would expect you just have to log in every day, play a couple games here and there, and then the T21, they actually changed it a bit from the original T34 Shielded. For the T34 Shielded, all you had to do was log in every day, but for the T21, not only did you have to log in every day, but you also had to get a mastery badge here and there. So I'm not sure how Wargaming is going to do the Panzer IV S, but I'm just going to say it shouldn't be anything too tricky. This is a tier six medium, one that's been in the game for a very long time, and it's usually sold for a very, very cheap price tag, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And by the time you're watching this video, you probably already know how to get it. But enough about that. Let's get into the actual playstyle of this vehicle. What do we have up against us? They got an SU-100Y, EZ-8, ARL-44, VK-3001D, two Leopards, and a T1 Heavy. Leopards are actually pretty threatening, judging that we don't have much armor, but the gun on this tank is amazing. 4.4 seconds of reload. Plus, look at that dispersion. I mean, you just hit everything easily. Who can take a blind shot at that bush because you can see the leopard is shooting at me, although we are getting bounces. I don't even know where the shells are hitting me. It doesn't look like they're actually giving me hit skins, but there you go. That's a lot of tanks being detected on the ridgeline from the enemy. Let's fire at that ARL. Nice tap right through the turret. We can go for another tap in a moment. Ah, I should have aimed it a little bit better. But either way, we are already down a teammate, so that's not good news. But at least we got some shells into that ARL. We do have some teammates as well covering me from the rear, which is good news. But I am going to be very, very careful. Easy 8 just got a big old slap into his tank, which is fantastic news. And there you go. One player has already been cleared off the enemy team. Oh, we got a Leopard over there. Nice tap into his track wheel. Maybe we can get another shell into him. No, no, we can't. But we'll get a nice shell into the Easy 8 once. And since we out-reload him, we'll get two shells or not. Or we'll shoot him in the turret. I guess that kind of sucks. Either way, we'll get a third shell. So there you go. You can see the gun on this tank is great. And as long as you're only showing the turret armor, you will get very, very solid bounces. So over here, we got the T1 Heavy in front of us. With 10 degrees of gun depression, I can easily poke this, get a nice shot right into his lower plate, and as well get a bounce haul it down. Let's get another shell into the T1 Heavy, and let's go, well, we could shoot into the ARL, so let's go for that. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be pens, but look at all those bounces I'm getting right on the mantlet. Fantastic. Uh, we got the issue under Y off to the side, and I'm going to poke this a bit more this way. That way we can use our gun depression and still penetrate the T1 Heavy. Nice tap straight into the frontal armor. 190 millimeters of pen is plenty to cut through enemy opponents. Even that ARL. I mean, we've blocked 1,200, and we are still easily getting out damage. There's one shell into the VK-30. Maybe we can get another one out. I don't know, but this game's going great. I'm going to be honest. This, this battle went way better than I thought it was going to. You will see, not the fastest tank. 
especially on its acceleration. It takes a bit of time to get up to top speed, and even once you reach your top speed, you're not very fast, but it doesn't matter too much because yeah, the DPM's great, and once you get in the position, you can just easily clear enemy opponents. So let's get some more shells into this ARL. There's two shots already, but on my adrenaline, we should be able to get another shell right on the turret cheek. Nice, and say goodbye to the ARL. There you go. That was a pretty easy win. I gotta be honest, that was an incredibly easy win. Weren't able to get that last shell out just because the battle ended due to suppression points, but we were able to deal 2,180 damage and come out with an incredibly easy victory. You do got to be careful, though, against Tier 7s. That should be pretty well known, but yes, you do got Space Storm on the sides. That's very nice. That means vehicles like the Smasher, the KV-2, the SU-100Y, uh, SU-152, vehicles like that will not be able to penetrate the sides of your tank with HE. That's great. The bad news is that your front is only 80 millimeters thick, which is still a very, very easy HE. In fact, you can shoot the lower plate, the flat part. So as long as you only show the turret, you'll be fine. But I wouldn't suggest to poke any vehicles that have high caliber guns. What do we have up against us? We got an SP-1C and a P-44. Or P-43, sorry, kind of lost my mind there. And then a Sherman Firefly. All right, so not too bad for their medium tanks. Hopefully their heavies don't end up pushing towards medium side. As I did say, not very fast. So you do got to be careful on if you put yourself in a situation you might regret. We could find that out. We could not. Either way, I'm going over towards base C, as that is a very easy position to drive a medium tank to. And again, if I use this vehicle hull down, it's funny because it has a Panther turret, but you actually have three more degrees of gun depression than, actually it's four more degrees of gun depression than the normal panther so i'm just gonna oh you're you're stuck on me dude uh, <laughs> i couldn't turn because he was on the back of my vehicle but oh well all right speed is key come on keep on going power to weight's keeping us at least above 40 but uh, uphill yeah we are not very fast at all and here we are hello anybody here no i'm just gonna push aggressive i mean there's their sp1c already spotted so i can just easily push up here we should be able to spot anybody if they push hello no all right well it looks like their entire team went towards b one thing that people always try to say is that i get lucky with my teams at tier six tier seven but as i always say this is tier six. I mean, this is a tier where a lot of beginners are starting to actually understand the game. So they're usually not the best at the game. That's one thing you should just always know about low tiers is that the lower you get, obviously the worse the players are. So that's what you should expect when playing in a vehicle like the Panzer IV Schmaltrum is uh, teammates that probably don't understand the game all too much. But let's start shooting at that AMX. There's one shell into his side. And uh, let's go for two shells, although that was a, a bit of a sad shot, wasn't it? Good news is we can just butter right through his upper plate. 190 millimeters of premium pen is plenty to cut through enemy opponents. But right now, I'm just going to shoot at the Sherman Firefly. Although, oh, SP-1C coming in hot. There you go, nice shot once into his vehicle. Uh, can we get a second shell in? Imagine if that hits, but it looks like we actually can't hit him in that position. Nice shot right into that AMX turret. I didn't want to shoot premium ammunition, but I am going to shoot premium ammo at his upper plate because one more shell is all we need to finish him off, which, a oh, boop, oh, there you go, finishing off the AMX M4. All right, we got the Sherman Firefly in front of us. Let's get a nice tap into his tank. There you go. Three more seconds, come on, reload, and a boop, another shell, 200 damage, and in one more second, we're going to have that finishing shell ready. Ooh, well, we got really, really trolled there. Well, let's just shoot at the SP-1C. There's one nice tap into his tank, and I mean, again, just look at how easy this game is to do well. Let's finish off the Firefly, or not, we'll low roll him, but that's fine. Still pretty low on his health anyway. And, well, we got a nice HE into the SP-1C. A little bit of a low roll at 166, but there you go. Two easy battles showcasing just why the Schmaltrum is a fantastic tank. I would highly suggest to get your hands on this vehicle if you have the opportunity. Should be a pretty easy grind. You probably don't even need that many battles. But there you go. 1,800 damage, two games, two very solid wins, and you can see just why it is a very, very nice tank. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. Bye-bye.